All right, Glad Rap Channel, you're with Ray Mawson. How's it going, man? How are you? Good, man. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you, you lost a couple of fights. Uh, I think you've taken a bit of a hiatus, and then you've come back, and you've been super, super dominant, man. Uh, how's it feel to be back in, in force? Yeah, like I said, I had a five-year layoff. Um, I was over, over in Perth working in underground dungeon, and, um, but I still kept fit, kept active, you know, and um, come back to New Zealand, and uh, boxing's still my first love, and I still love, I love fighting, so uh, good to get back into it and, um, and, and start, yeah. So, you know, during that five years layoff, did you still keep active? Like, did you, um, like, um, any boxing, uh, sparring, any... Um... I've always kept fit, you know, like, um, always go to the gym and that, and, um, yeah, like, run, run a couple of times a week, and a uh, bit of shadow boxing here and there, but you never forget it, man. Fighting's always in you, you don't, you don't lose it. So is it like a calling? Like, you know, is it in your blood? Like, is, you know, did you feel like a calling? Like, you know, like you were getting that satisfaction from just going in the gym, staying fit. Like, you wanted that competitive um, rush. One of the reasons I stopped, I had, I had a little girl, um, and she's now five and a half. So, yeah, I took a big break on that because um, you know, priorities, man. You know, fighting's just fighting. You know, it's, uh, it's at the end of the day, it's just a sport. You know, uh, but. <clears throat> she always comes first, no matter what. Um, yeah, um, it's was that, was always, that, it's yeah. always there, man. Like, I always walk around, I'm always thinking boxing all the time, you know. Like, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it, a lot of fighters will agree. You just, even when you're working, your head starts switching off, you start thinking about boxing. And, yeah, it's, you either, it's either in you or it isn't, you know. You, so you know in your last two fights, just yeah. getting did you get did you get the knockdown in the in the first first round? Yeah, yeah, last two fights. How did that feel? Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, was it too easy for you? Or? <clears throat> no, no, not easy, man. Um, it was just just what happened on the night. Like, like I say, I come to fight, I come to punch. Um, uh, yeah, no, it's just what happens on the night, man. Um, I'm always gonna come and fight, man. Um, they don't bring their A game. They're gonna get caught. So, you know, Shay, you know, the audience likes to watch Shay and um, they like that style, they like your style. I mean, how do you, how do you see Shay among your other competitors that you face? Um, to be honest, I don't know too much about him just yet. I know he's, he's, he's obviously in a uh, spot ahead of me and um, he comes in, he, uh, apparently comes to fight. So, yeah, uh, I know he isn't going to be as, hit, as hard as I'm going to hit him. I'm going to pressure him, I'm going to, yeah. I'm gonna break his ribs, man. Um, he's not gonna know what it feels like until he gets hit. So, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm coming to fight. I want that title. So, how do you like this fight to end? I'm not gonna. First round again? I can't say first round, but I'm, if it has to go 12 rounds, I'm gonna be ready for all 12 rounds. Yeah, um, yeah I'm not gonna change my style. I, yeah, I put pressure on him and make him fall again. Yeah, so you're so you're definitely just trying to get that number one slot, right? One fight at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, I mean a win over Shea, that that's that's something, right? In the New Zealand community, I mean that's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, say I fought a uh, few tough guys in Aussie: Frank Porto, Wale Tosso, Josh King. You know, um, all those guys are top-notch fighters and. Uh, you know, I've I've seen um, I've seen Shay like get knocked down in the first round, but that guy comes back, man. Like he keeps on coming. Do you foresee this being a tough fight? Or? And once you spot blood, is it just? Do you have that finishing? Um, you know, when you sense it. Yeah, definitely, man. Like. Um, Uh, when you're in the zone, when you go to fight, um, you just switch on and um, you got to do what you do to win, you know. Um, most fighters know when they're landed, uh, you finish them, you know. And that's, that's what I'm planning on doing. And I've seen your trainers out there, Monty and Kevin. I mean, it doesn't look like you're, you're fooling around here. It's like you've got a serious team behind you, right? Oh, definitely, man. Yeah? Definitely. And um, we're training hard all the time. 
boast about every training session on Facebook like a lot of people do, but um, we're, yeah, we're definitely um, training hard and we mean business, man. We're here to come and we're here to win. So can you tell us about you know your training schedule? Like, so Monty works with you, like, do they both come? Kevin and Monty work with you together or? Yeah, I, um, I live with Kevin and um, we're, we're, doing, we're always doing a lot of study, and, um, watching videos and uh, strength conditioning training at Les Mills. And, fellas and uh, do some bag work and also with my coach I do bag work with sort of him uh, two three times a week um, and then also like my coach you know, I'm, I'm old enough to know how to train now um, I do my running on my own and um, it's, uh, it's you know core based stuff for myself yeah. how long do you run for like, like how many k's though? like uh... Uh, 10k's 10k's each run Incredible. And do you know what sort of time frame you take to do the 10Ks, right? I think 40 minutes or something. I don't know, man. I, I ain't going to try and break running yeah. boots, you know. It's just part of the um, condition of the boxing. Right? So you know when you're running, right, you just get exhausted, right? You know that push, that, that further. How do you how do you get that, you know, that extra motivation? Like, where do you draw that from? That? Uh, it's all up here, man. Like, um, my coach, when I was younger, we did a lot of mental, pre um, mental preparation. Get up and think of like 12, 13, we spend in this garage and we'll be doing meditation and uh, uh, a lot of things just drilling into my head. Um, the mental conditioning for fighting, you know. Most of it is up there, you know. Most, most of the, the training is mental, mental prep. And yeah, you know, it's just, it, it comes natural eventually. And, and the meditation helps with what? Focusing or? Um or just yeah, staying in the zone, or visualization, breathing exercises, you know, um, control your body. You know. Can't control up here, you can control it. You, know. you, you touched on it before in the blood. You are the epiphany of um, basically a guy that wants to finish the fight. He goes and you can see it in your eyes, your body language, everything. You're probably one of my favourite fighters just because of your pure aggression and the way you go and finish. Like Josh touched on, when did you realise that you had had this, like, because you just turned into another person in the ring, you turned into an absolute wolverine. When did you know that you had that that killer instinct to be able to just finish people like you do? Uh, I don't know, man. It's just, it's, I've always thought, like, that. I just like to say it's a fight. I enjoy, um, I don't want to say I'm, a, I'm not the flash of the boxes, but I know I come there and I come to fight and I come to punch and, um, you know, it, it, yeah, but it's either in you or it's not, you know. Um, I've had my tests in the amateurs, that, you know, and, um, and, and in the pros. Um, yeah, just, uh, it's either in you, you know, and it's just when you switch on, you switch on to fight mode, you know, and then when you, when you step outside that ring, you can relax, you know. Um, it's just part of the game, you know, it's, it's, it's not a soccer game, it's uh, boxing, it's fighting, you know. You, you're either going to get a hit or hit them. Are you the type, because, you know, I see it turns a whole lot of boxers' eyes, it's like, you're just looking through something, it almost looks like now you're getting ready to, you know, take this guy out. Are you the type afterwards that will go up and have a chat or a beer afterwards with a fighter, or is it just... Oh, you're yeah, definitely, things? man, like, it, it's business in the room, you know. Um, yeah, man, if they want to beer afterwards, they're going to beer afterwards, man, yeah. and, uh, No grudge against anyone, you know. It's where you earn your respect with each other as in the ring, you know. Um, that was man, yeah. You can go party, you know. Um, yeah. So how did you get into boxing? Was it at a young age or was it were your parents fighters? Um, <laughs> my great grandfathers were, were boxers back in the day. Um, how do you know about him like you I think my dad wanted me to do a sport and um, I remember when I was younger, I think a guy in my school was doing a bit of boxing and I said, like, yeah, now I'm keen to join myself, you know, um, and then got put through, uh, I think my old man rang up the Open Boxing Association, they said uh, Monty Barna lives in the area, and, uh, yeah. So. Oh, so, so, so Monty and you go back ages then, it's... Uh... Um, yeah, he's, he's been my coach since I was 11 years old, and he, he always will be, um, it's like, you know, training, he knows his fighter inside, yeah. 
that must be a completely different experience training with someone that knows you so well, right? I mean, oh, well, it, I mean, he taught me like yeah, Monty, Monty Barnard and his day was awesome. Look at Florida, New Zealand champ, um, kickboxer, boxer. Monty was a fighter as well. Yeah, definitely. Okay, okay, awesome. And um, yeah, so his knowledge that he's passed on to me is, uh, yeah, it's, you know, I, I believe in loyalty, you know. So, um, so by the end of you know 2017, what do you want to accomplish? Oh, and then New Zealand title, yeah. New Zealand title, and um, yeah, I'd we'll say one fight at a time. You know, opportunities come, and, yeah, take them. Yeah, well, you know, it's you definitely see the uh, the it's a special drive you have in you. You know, it's like you're um, it's no games in here. Right? Yeah. Oh, at, at the end of the day, it's it's just passion. You know, I, I enjoy it. Focus. And, and I think everybody needs the same to give them focus. Uh, but you do focus on the defense as well, do you? Like, um, oh man, if I have to, yeah, yeah, like I say, but, um, if I have to, yeah. Like, worst case scenario worst sort of training? Yeah, yeah, man, definitely, man. I still can box if I have to box. Um, just the way I fight is uh, I like to come punch and um, yeah, fight, man. I enjoy fighting. So, Definitely, if, you, if, if there's a time where I have to box, I'm going to box. Yeah. All right, uh, and just uh, just to last, just uh, tell the people what they're going to see on uh, on April, on fight night. Yeah, man, you're going to know. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to be a fight you want to see because, it, let's see, he comes to fight, I come to fight, you want to meet in the middle, and it's going to be on. Isaac, tell, tell people why people need to see this fight, man. He mentioned earlier broken ribs. Look at this guy's eyes. I'm always even too scared to look at him sometimes because he's just staring through my soul, almost ripping mine out. He's going to break ribs. He's going to put him down. He's pretty much the turbine from hell, and I can't wait to see this fight. It's Saturday April for Mr. Bizzle.